Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Advice from my heart to my friends in the Liberal Party. Do not dispute the truth of what our former Minister of Justice has said. Do not attempt to question or undermine or impugn her integrity. No one will believe them if they do. Right. What they must do is tell the truth, let the chips fall where they may, starting with these three steps. Call for a public inquiry, release the former Minister of Justice from restrictions in her evidence, and fire the clerk of the Privy Council office. Later. Mr. Speaker, as we've always said, it was important for Canadians to be able to hear from witnesses, including the former Attorney General. We know that the Prime Minister worked with the current Attorney General to ensure that we could waive client solicitor privilege as well as cabinet confidence. Yesterday we saw that Canadians were able to hear directly from the former Attorney General. Canadians are able to watch the Justice Committee look at this file, look at witnesses appearing and they answer. We recognize that the committee system is working because even that member yesterday was given the opportunity to ask right. questions directly of the witness. Mr. Speaker, we on this side have confidence in our institutions.